Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to be talking about the topic of citizenship. And so this is our diversity topic for the month of November. So when we are talking about citizenship, this is defined as being a citizen or full member of a particular country. Along with being a citizen of a country, you are also a citizen of the town that you live in, as well as the community that you're part of. Each country has its own rules about who is a citizen and how to become one. Many countries have set up four basic ways on how to become a citizen. So first, someone who is born in the country is considered a citizen. Someone whose mother or father is a citizen of the country automatically becomes a citizen. Someone who is married to a citizen can become a citizen. And a person who goes through a process called naturalization becomes a citizen as well. We provided you guys with a website that reviews information about citizenship and becoming a naturalized citizen of the United States. Now, citizens have certain rights and responsibilities, and they vary by country. But we provided you guys with an example of some U.S. citizen rights and responsibilities that go with each. So first, you have the right to express yourself, freedom to worship as you wish, the right to a prompt, fair trial by jury, the right to vote in elections for public officials, the right to apply for federal employment requiring U.S. citizenship, the right to run for elected office, and freedom to pursue life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So these are just some examples. Now next, we have a list of some U.S. citizen responsibilities. So first, to support and defend the Constitution, to stay informed of the issues affecting your community, to participate in the democratic process, to respect and obey federal, state, and local laws, to respect the rights, beliefs, and opinions of others, to participate in your local community, to pay income and other taxes, honestly and on time, to federal and state authorities, to serve on a jury when called upon, and to defend the country if the need should arise. Now, citizenship can only be lost in serious cases. A government may take away the citizenship of somebody who becomes a naturalized citizen of another country, or somebody who shows allegiance or loyalty to another country. Now examples of this could include somebody who votes in a foreign election or serves in um, a foreign military. Um, trying to overthrow the government is a very serious crime that can um, result in loss of citizenship when this is done by force. Um, and naturalized citizens who commit serious crimes may lose their citizenship as well. Some of you may remember um, hearing about Ellis Island, where about 12 million immigrants came into the United States with the desire to become citizens of our country. And so we provided you guys with the link to a video where you can learn more about the history of Ellis Island. Now, we have a, a bunch of different worksheets for you today, but one of them talks about what is a good citizen. And so the example that they gave is a good citizen is someone who's responsible, someone who cares for others, follows the rules, and does not do things that will hurt others or his environment. So the citizenship things that I was talking about before, different rights, responsibilities, they can kind of seem really broad. But I like the definition that was in this worksheet because um, it just kind of brings it home and shows us how we can be a good citizen even as we just interact with other people. So, you know, there's some examples of things that a good citizen would do. Um, and then, you know, so it wants you to check which is good, um, what a good citizen would do, you know, check those. Things like volunteer at a homeless shelter, recycle at home, vote, um, throw away your trash, say please and thank you, make a card for a sick friend, um, throw away somebody else's trash, share a snack with your sibling, donate your old clothes, um, help somebody who's fallen, help to raise money for a good cause. You know, so these are just some examples of ways that we can be good citizens or maybe just good people, right? 
Um, you know, there's words that we associate with being a good citizen, like donate, give, respect, care, help, thoughtful, manners, share. You know, these are just ways that we can just bring these skills home and um, make them easier to use every day. So we hope that um, this lesson is just a helpful reminder and um, that you enjoy the activities that we posted. And uh, we hope that you all have a great day.